Welcome back, everyone. In the last module, we talked about the right mindsets for learning. And now, in this module, we'll dive into the introduction to programming and programming logic. And by the end of the module, you'll write your first lines of code in Python. To learn Python, let's first zoom out to understand the bigger landscape of how Python fits into how computers interact with programming languages. So contrary to what you might think, computers are actually not very smart. They don't have any common sense, and they can't just figure it out. So they have to be told what to do and how. And how we give instructions to computer is through programs. So once the program is written, the instruction is ready. Computers can also interact and control other devices like cameras, printers, sensors. Through our programs, we can tell the computer to take a picture, to open a website, to print something. They can also be programmed to do these things when some event is sensed by a sensor. So for example, we can connect our computer to a motion sensor and a camera. And the program can take a picture when the sensor senses any motion. This combination of logic, computation, and interaction with other devices is what makes programming a powerful tool. One of the most common questions beginners ask is, which computer programming language should I learn? Well, why are there so many languages to begin with, and how do they work? Computers can only understand machine language, which is in zeros and ones. And it would be very annoying for us to be able to speak to the computer in the machine language. So we need an intermediate language to communicate with machines, which is what we call high-level programming languages, or simply programming languages. One fun fact is that computers don't actually understand programming languages. So what we write are first translated into machine language in what is called a compiler. This is where things get interesting. Different kinds of computers may have different machine languages. So for example, the instruction meant for Intel processor may not be understood by AMD one. But a program written in a programming language like Python can be translated into machine language of different machines. So we can practically run the same program on different types of machines. While at a fundamental level, all programming languages can do the same kinds of things, some languages are better for certain kinds of tasks. We won't get into the details of that now, but overall programmers trade off power for convenience when they choose which language to use. People also share and reuse each other's programs through libraries. This is one of the reasons why Python is such a popular language. It has so many useful libraries. In one of the later modules, we'll use Pandas, one of the most popular libraries for data science. Awesome, hopefully that was pretty straightforward. Now head over to the questions to tackle some of the topics that we talked about in this video and see if you can recall them. In the next video, we'll dive into programming logic. See you there.